and welcome back to Red Faction Armageddon. Um, in the last episode, we started playing the game, and we noticed the destructible environments and explosions. Such as that. gas explosion. Um, for those who didn't see it, destructible environments, and, and it has a relatively okay physics engine. Um, again, it can be weird at times, but mostly good. All right, now we'll... Repair functionality has been restored on the nanoforge. Okay, so what is... Just in time. One of the nice things about this game is, yeah, it has a destruct destructible environment, but Mason here has a device that can reconstruct anything called the nanoforge, which is useful. Now, I admit that I would love one of these in our household. Um... My dad, is, my dad loves to do construction projects, and let's just say they take a little while, so being able to put something back together in a relatively short amount of Give time or reps, construct Sam. it would be nice. detected in the cargo bay. Good. I could use a uh, better. Oh, oh. I don't think you're okay. Oh, we got some dead soldiers here. So... One of the interesting things is that when you think about it, Red Faction is a game that is, is a lot different from a, a lot of other games. That's the same. Oh, wait, boss fight. Yes. Five minutes in the game, and we've already got a, we've got a boss fight. And actually, I'm going to focus on this. I'm not going to focus on anything else during this episode. Um, one of the things you'll notice is that he is... Beating the shit out of anything that he can see. Running out of cover here. Use the nano forge to repair the crates. Oh, right. So yeah, there's a cover-based system in this game, but you'll see here that the cover is reconstructible. So explosions, not so much. Oh god. Now that can get obviously annoying, considering he's destroying everything here. But those guns are no joke. Reconstructive, reconstructive, reconstructive. Already got him down to about half health. Um, this is actually, in fact, what's interesting is that the, you have a boss fight very early in the game, and it's a while before you get another one. And it's weird because it it works well for the first boss fight. It introduces you to a new mechanic. It, you know, it, it gets you used to the game and its feel, especially the cover system. And you think they would introduce... They introduce a couple more mechanics, you know, similar to this later in the game, and yet nothing along the same line. So, it's really weird to see them... Some of the design choices. Uh, oh, boy. Is this thing still standing? I really need that ammo up there. Uh, and Mason's jumping skill is strange. The jumping animation is just like, woo! Oh god! <laughs> I really could use some plasma. Oh, there we go, some plasma ammo. Just regular ammo. Whoa, okay, hello. Did not see you there. Uh, there's no time for it. Yeah, no, but you're going to have to make time. Man, he's dead. He's not getting up from that. And, okay, so that is the boss fight. I pick up the salvage here, but yeah, um, very early boss fight in the game. Um, it teaches you the new mechanic of cover to uh, avoid your enemies. Now, with that said... You'll use the cover system somewhat, and by system I mean you'll use you'll use the environment around you, but usually only when you are low on health. Um, I found that it was just easier just to run around and use the um, your sprint system, your sprint ability, more than anything else.
This door leads to the core? Affirmative. What is the plan once we are inside? Pray we aren't too late. Why would the computer ask for sort a of plan? Uh, well, I guess it would. It could. Impact is online. That would be impact. So basically, Mason has force power. He's able to build anything, he's able to just do, destroy anything, and he's able to the use the force. You know, it's a nano, new nano force. You'll need to clear each one before the system reboots. Yes, sir. Now you notice there, it, 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 the, the impact, uh, impact was a shockwave, and it only took a shockwave close to where I, where I needed to. I mean, it didn't take out the entire wall, just this section that it hit, so it is pretty accurate in that. Now, it is very, very useful to break a shit, um, find salvage, so on and so forth. Um, it does have a recharge. Cultist inbound. Damn it. Sometimes it's not too perfect, so you gotta actually get this over there. Let's give him a little bit of surprise. That would be a big surprise. Oh, hello. Melee. No. Let's just cross construction. Open up the room a little bit. Get some salvage. But, um... Actually, I'm going to go back to a point that I wanted to make before. Um, Red Faction and Armageddon is really unique, or actually the Red Faction series in general, with destructible environments. Yeah, I think Battlefield 4 had it as well, and some other games have done it before, but not to the extent that Red Faction has. And it's a shame, too, that, um, which I'll leave to again in a, in a future episode, that Red Faction is... Again, it's one of those things that I've always been interested about. I mean, it is a great concept. Now, granted, design choices are huge in how you're going to do it. I mean, destructible environments here, yeah, I can destroy, let's just say, anything there. Now, rocks, on the other hand, or the, the main walls, I can't. So. See here, I'm not able to do anything. So, it is interesting because of the fact that you've always got to take into account design choices you've got as a, as a developer. Um, what can you destroy? What can you not? Can the destruction get in the way of what you need? You need? For example, actually I'm going to do that. I'm going to let that naturally happen. I'm not going to... Because it will happen sooner or later. In fact... Actually, in fact, is a good option. Now, see here. Let's destroy it to show you. Now, if I wanted to get out there, I'm having problems. I'm glitching out, apparently. But, that's what the Nano Forge is for, to reconstruct the environment elements that you destroy. And it's a good design choice because it never leaves the player in a situation where... Screw! Now... Always useful to look for anything like that, especially under stairwells. I noticed that there's a lot of salvage under there. Um, not sure why. It's that actually a common what theme. The hell was that? Okay. Um, but back to destructible environments. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised not a lot of other games have done it before. My impact to get him off his feet. Um, again, very interesting. Alright, looking for boxes. Get some salvage here. Again, you can reconstruct a lot of things. Boxes, not sure why you can reconstruct them, but paper. You can reconstruct it. Because of this thing, this is David, I got your station. We are at code 
Oh, I turned subtitles on. But you notice there's no subtitle tag. That's something I don't enjoy about this game. We have a breach. We need to. I think I heard something. Oh God. Somebody's in here. Explosive barrels will be littered around, and you'll always want to use them because why not? So, yes. it's a third-person shooter. You have your weapons. But I am constantly running out of ammo early on here. Uh, oh, I didn't. Damn. Use cover. I only got one of them. Damn. Oh, there we go. Some explosives up there will help. Oh. Uh, reconstruct the stuff. Oh, wait, nope. Use doors. Yeah. And you can punch the walls, too. It's a little less effective than the mall, um, which is that melee weapon that you saw before, but it can be done. Load here. Probably need to reconstruct. Uh, yeah, I'm going up. Yeah, probably fast forward through this part because I'm an idiot. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. So wait. Oh, wait, no, I just dropped down. Oh, good job, me. Oh god, bright lights. Bright lights. They burn. It's always good to look through the environment just to see what's there. Ugh. Moving on. What are these guys? By the I I a human... I've got some spikes here. I, I don't know what the purpose of this is. Uh, they've got some problems. So, the next part. Actually, this is probably. Lining the core with explosives. If Hale brings this place down, the whole planet is screwed. So yeah, very, very, very important structure guarded by how many people? Not, not many at all. I'm going to stop here for this episode, so uh, next time we will stop the cultists from exploding Mars. Uh, good job, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnik signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.